This is Code.org, and we are going to investigate modify. Ooh, that sounds official. Run the program by clicking the orange run button. Orange run. Oh, yep. Orange run down here, bottom, click a poo. Which is like clicking, because it's clicking. Oh, computer's not happy. The files you have provided do not include any .java files or are empty. All right. Uh, observe what it does. Make the following changes. Run the program after each change to observe the results. Okay, so do we break something? One, what error did you get? No, we didn't. We we're supposed to get an error. Okay, so I guess exception is what they mean, right? So a, an exception or an error did you get when you ran the program? What do you think caused the error? Interesting. So if I look at this file, it says not include any .java files or all are, or are all empty. I'm going to assume this is a file because it's, well, the code stuff in the fancy way they say. Uh, and so this is the code stuff. Obviously, it's not empty. There's text here. So no, it's it's not empty. All right, so .java. Well, I don't see .java anywhere on my screen right now, right? There's nothing that says .java. So maybe that's the issue. Change the name of the file by clicking the arrow on the tab and choosing rename. Now, what they're talking about, guys. Oh, let me scroll down real quick. Yeah, what they're talking about right here, my neighbor is the tab. And this little triangle-y thing is what they are calling an arrow. Uh, they want us to enter dot, oh no, my neighbor. Now, in code, capitalization is critical. So I have to capitalize the M of my and the N of neighborhood. And that's it. Let me hit rename now. And they want us to run it again. I think they're tricking us. Does it fix the error? Nope. And we actually get the same message, right? Uh, the files you have provided do not include any .java files or all are empty. This still doesn't look empty to me, so I'm wondering about this .java part of our exception. Three, change the name of the file again. This time, my neighborhood, <gasps> there's our dot. Dot Java. Okay, so I'm going to go up here again, rename, and dot Java. Ta-da! Let's hit rename. The world is just, everything is solved, all of our dreams come true. I wish it was that easy. Oh, wait, is it? Did it? <gasps> Ooh, we got us a painter. Okay, for the file name, run again. Does this fix there? I mean, I didn't see any error come up. That's looking pretty good. Why do you think this happened? Well, I think it happened, one, because the exception was telling us it has to have an extension. Guys, extensions sound weird, right? The Or the dot job of this, that sounds like a weird term. However, if you make a GIF on the internet, and it is GIF, I will fight you on that in the very nice teacher way. Uh, GIF, what a GIF is, it's actually a type of file. And that file, whatever, fred.gif, ends in dot GIF, right? Or a JPEG is that. Or a Word document might end in .word or .wordx, things like this. So .java, Java is the programming language we're learning, and this is just the type of file. So if we try to run something, the computer wants to know what type of file it is. If it doesn't know it's Java, it says, what do you want me to do with this? I have no idea what it is. All right, that being said, add the following code where indicated in the program, then run. What happens? All right, we're indicated. So if you take a look at line 15, the slash slash to do, add a code below this comment. So line 15 is a comment that programmers use to tell each other stuff, to leave notes, to, I mean, all sorts of stuff. Hackers will use them to mock programmers that they went into their code, but it's not read by the computer. It's just like a note for us, the humans. So right under line 15, also known as line 16, I guess I'm going to add, why do you think this happened? Oh, my painter dot move. Okay, my painter dot move, parentheses and a semicolon. And guys, you need the dot, you need move, you need parentheses and the semicolon just like that. Otherwise, the computer will be angry. However, it's still going to be angry. Let's hit run. Let's see what we got here. Exception, we couldn't compile your program. Look for bugs in your program and try again. And if I scroll up here, you'll notice that it says my neighborhood.java 16. That number tells me it's line 16's my error. It can't find the symbol my painter. So why might that be happening? Well, 
code is picky. So a good frame of reference or a good reference, let me look through this program. Do I see my painter anywhere else? Sure, line 6, line 8, line 9, line 11, line 12, not line 13, right? Lines all over the place. But every time, the letter P is capitalized. Let's switch that out. And even the most important part, line six, when we create my painter, P is capitalized. And we'll get into this more, but let's switch that out. It's called camel case. The my is totally lowercase, just the letter P of painters capitalized, no spaces. Let's hit run. But uh, we have a moving painter. Hey, congrats. You just wrote your first chunk of program if you haven't done this before. Or if you have, you just wrote a chunk of program. Either way, awesome. Onward.